Good afternoon and welcome to the Business and Technology Show here at MyCRM. We are live again on our YouTube channel. Um, I'm Alistair Dickinson, I'm the CEO of MyCRM and Mapsmize and in the studio this afternoon we have Poppy. Hello. Poppy's going to be taking questions as uh, usual so please do fill in the questions and uh, if you've got anything particular. Um, our special guest this afternoon is Mike Cox from Rosetta Group. Um, great to have you in the studio, Mike. Um, I know we've been talking for many months now about the different things that we do, and we've known each other both based on the island. So, uh, just a couple of things. We're, we're going to go through a, a range of questions this afternoon, as, as usual. Mike's going to tell us all the details about Rosetta Group, how it was formed, how it was set up, what it actually involves, the services that they offer. Um, just looking at the news this afternoon, uh, we see British Steel has uh, collapsed, and I was just talking to Mike about this uh, previously because you know it, it's a long-standing organisation. So that's really quite sad, isn't it, Mike? It is. It's a shame when you see something as large as that going under. When you you see every day small businesses and shops closing, but some, an organisation that big is going to have huge effects on not just the, the staff there, but the suppliers and yeah, and the whole the whole chain. And, and you know, yesterday we we, we saw. Uh, um, Jamie Oliver's mm -hmm. um, restaurant chain mm -hmm. fold as well, so it's uh, you know mm -hmm. what can we do? Yeah. Anyway, let's let's uh, start asking the questions and see where we get to. It's always good to sort of chat about businesses in general. So let's work through the agenda. Let's have a quick look. Uh, Q and A. Here we go. Um, so Mike, can you tell us a bit about yourself, your background, when you came to the islands, mm -hmm. um, have you always been here? Did you leave and come back? You, know, you hear I, that so often, don't yeah. you, from people. They, they, say, they run away when they're younger and say, oh, I've got to get off the island. And then a few years later, they come crawling back here yeah, and say, yeah. what a lovely place we live on. It's, yeah, it's brilliant. It's amazing. It's, this rock is actually yeah. pretty good. Um, but I know from you know background when we talked, you, you, know, you spent some time in London. Mm. So if you kind of want to open up on that. Yeah, sure. Well, well I, I, left, I left school and... Um, uh, had a, I went to a nice school, good education, but didn't want to go to university and I joined the army, which was a oh, big right. mistake. Uh, <laughs> not my cup of tea at all. It right. lasted weeks, it was that bad. Oh, right. <laughs> so I, I don't think I can put that on my career list. No. Um, I've tried all sorts of things over the years, worked in all sorts of areas um, and eventually ended up, fell into the police and joined the police. Right. So I was in the Met for a while. Uh, doing, I was so that's, in, that's London? That's in London, that's yeah. So the uh, I was an area car up there, area right. car driver up in London. Right. Um, I bet that was fun. It was very exciting, yeah. Was yeah. it was busy though, was it? Was it, it was manic um, and very exciting and something yeah. to be done when you're young, I think. And, yeah. uh, I wouldn't want to try and do it at my age. No, uh, lots of blue lights. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> lots of sleepless nights and long shifts. Uh, yeah. But it's, it's a great organisation and, yeah. and uh, I enjoyed my time there. Sure. Um, but we had, I had some personal problems and I moved to the Isle of Wight. I moved down to Southampton and lived with my sister and her right. husband for a while and then discovered the Isle of Wight that was outside my window each day I thought that looks nice over there so I came over here uh, and then uh, ended up working in transport so I worked in transport for many years so, so when did you when did you sort of and that was across? back in 2002 I think it was right, so, so I've been here you and I have been on the island similar sort of time. similar times yeah, yeah and I think I, I met you quite early on yeah. um, various things yeah so I remember mm. I, you know when I when I moved down I was doing um, I was living in Thames Valley mm. um, and I kind of loved you sort of been there, very active, very, you know, I call it the maiden head years um, because we were young and we were stupid and all of those kind of things. And it was just a great place to be. Um, mm. But when I, I, I sort of, I was doing a, a big project in Holland um, and I, I had a house in Thames Valley that was rented out and I'd met my wife and, you know, obviously, you know, she lived on the island and I thought, oh, actually, this is all right. I was, I was kind of commuting between Reading Amsterdam and the Isle of Wight. You know, I felt like Del Trotter. You know, I need a van. You know, <laughs> it's like um, living out of a suitcase all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> In the end, I was just flying from Southampton, which was actually mm -hmm. I worked out only afterwards when I was doing the London thing that I, yeah I could get to Amsterdam quicker 
that I could get to London. <laughs> <laughs> it is amazing. Thing. I did some work a while back for White Fibre and they flew me out to Amsterdam to see yeah. one of their suppliers. And I was amazed at how quick and efficient it is just over yeah. to Southampton and there. Yeah. You're there for a nine o'clock meeting. <laughs> it's quite incredible. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's an hour. And when, you know, obviously when the clock's changed and, and the Netherlands is not quite in line with our clock mm. change, I was getting back before I'd left. It was, it was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've, you've invented a time travel. Sure, it's brilliant. Time travel. <laughs> yeah. It was a fly bee time travel. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, setting up your own business, um, mm. you know, did you bring the business with you when you did No, no. I, I worked for quite a few years for Steve Porter Transport, oh, right. um, worked in various areas and ended up running uh, both their depots and I worked most, uh, most of what I was doing was IT based oh. um, and so while I was there I trained myself up in, in software, writing software that we use, PHP and MySQL yeah. and uh, I identified they had a need for a, a software system because it was very paper based. Sure. Um, so I, I designed a system called Transport transporter which they started using um, that was back in 2007 I think it was and uh, they're still using it. it's been <laughs> being used a lot and they're edu- right. upgraded and increased in size over the years but they still use it every day for yeah. managing all their consignments yeah. but yeah. after some time working for them I realized that there were other people who could make use of this as, this sort of thing as well okay. so that's why I left there with their with their backing because yeah. they became one of our customers uh, and set up what was then open source systems. Right, okay. So what does, and Steve Porter, do you want to just give us a, a kind of brief overview of what they do? Well, Steve Porter Transport are one of, the, one of the biggest transport, I would say the biggest transport company on the island. Uh, they do uh, deliveries on the island, on the mainland, and across the world. Right. Um, everything from parcels to lorry loads. In fact, if you've seen the, the big Samson radars spinning around up at uh, Cows at yeah. the uh, Plessy side there. Uh, they ship those. They oh, move right. them okay. out. So they get okay. them down to the docks. Yeah. They have a special boat that they go on, and, yeah. and off they go uh, over to Portsmouth for testing and things like that. Excellent. So they they, they can move everything for, <laughs> from a letter to no, a I Samson. Do, I, do, yeah, <laughs> I do remember we were just before we came on mm. um, air. Uh, I was uh, well, I sat in the kitchen with Mike, and we were just looking at the server cabinet because all of our development servers are racked in a in a cabinet, and actually a Steve Porter truck brought that. Oh. Um, a 38 ton Steve Porter truck <laughs> brought that yeah. into your driveway yeah. Yeah. I'm back and people are, know where we are and know the courtyard um, they had to back down the road and, 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 and whittle a, you know, and push this 38 ton truck backwards up, up through the car park which oh, is, uh, well, um, when that arrived, that would have had a, a, a sticker on it saying my CRM and then the delivery address, that would have been from our, our computer system. Excellent, excellent. Um, so, um, 2007, you set up the business um, and that became the Rosetta Group. Do you want to give us a kind of a, a breakdown of what the group bit is? Mm. Um, because I know Rosetta Telecom is, uh, that's what we're, you know, we're going to talk a, bit, a little bit about that and virtual phone systems because that whole market has changed. Oh yes. Um, yeah, I remember the days of lots of BT lines and, and you know, how many BT lines have you got? <laughs> now? No. None. <laughs> um, so that's a, there's a disruptive technology that's, that's kind of moved on. Um, <clears throat> Uh, and then the other the other things in the group, what, what are, you know, tell us what you well, can tell us. As I say, we started with open source systems and we came up with the name for that because we used open source software uh, rather than the Windows and Microsoft type uh, empires. Uh, which we leave experts like you to. Uh, <laughs> I, I think technology is technology. It's what works. It certainly yeah. is. I mean, I think the days of, you know, departmental, oh, we use this and they use this mm. and there's some sort it's of like, mind's better than yours. Now mm. it's just technology. Absolutely right. Um, yeah. And mm. if it works and it does the job that it meets the requirement, then mm. it doesn't really matter. It does. Well, open source with S A U C E became our company, Open Source Systems. Right. Uh, and that, the, that, well, the primary aim of that was to develop software for customers. So right. they're, they're, they're there to, uh, to build custom software and all sorts of customers. We've done things, everything from, uh, from transport, debt collection, uh, waste management, done everything over the years. We've right. built systems for them. Uh, and then over time, we realized that the phones was actually becoming a big thing. And um, well, the, the way, as you mentioned, phone systems have changed, it was becoming uh, more software based. Yeah. So we set up uh, Rosetta Telecom, which was going to concentrate on phone systems for business. Right. Um, and it was then we realized we've got a bit of a group growing here with the different areas of the business. I do a lot of audio work, uh, DJing, I DJ a lot, uh, I do voiceover work, I've been a radio presenter. 
Um, I do all sorts of things like that. So we realised we had a bit of a group. So we set up the Rosetta Group right. uh, and to be the the one ring to rule them, the rule them all. Uh, and so all the parts of the company come under the Rosetta Group, which is uh, down to me and more importantly the boss, which is my wife, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, uh, my wife's in charge of finance and operations. <laughs> Basically, I'm not allowed to spend any money. It sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> we we do. We, we, exactly. Yeah. We do. We do the doing. <laughs> um, that's, that's great. No, it's uh, so. Have you got any plans? To, is there anything new on the horizon you can tell us? Or? Well, we're 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 constantly uh, evolving. It's it's quite interesting because, as I say, the company has grown from just being a software provider. Uh, the biggest change for that has been the change from being project based to software as a service. Right. Uh, so we we originally started out, and I spent my whole time networking, touting for business to make projects for people. But as the cost of those and building one has gone up and up and up. Uh, there are fewer people actually want to spend that sort of money on something. Sure. Uh, and, and being able to provide software as a service where we'll build the software and fund it and yeah. then rent it out to people on a monthly basis yeah. is becoming the way more people are getting used to. We all use uh, Twitter, Facebook, yeah. all these things. Spotify is a good yeah. example. And we're happy to pay Netflix. We're happy to pay each month rather than buy the whole of Netflix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and that's the way yeah, the business I, I, has gone. I think it's a very valid point. I've been doing some research recently, especially into kind of digital and online and, and, and how businesses are adapting. Um, and we seem to be moving into this area or this, this, this time of consumption mm. where you know, I need an application that does X, Y, Z. Um, instead of saying, oh, I've got fifty thousand pounds. I want you to build me something. You know, now, project when I started, you know, and I'm going back in my software development days to sort of ninety seven, ninety eight. It was all that. Mm. You know, it was big companies with big budgets. Build me a, a big system, you know, <laughs> and it took two years, and then it didn't work because the business had moved on. Or yeah. it kind of worked. Mm. Um, and we're, we're now definitely seeing that sort of cloud based consumption. Yeah. Um, so if you're if you're kind of building these platforms, which is really interesting because that's the model we're now moving to with mm. our new with our new platform. Do you do the whole R and D tax credits? Are you claiming that back? Yeah, we. <coughs> excuse me. We've got uh, a couple of contacts that we use for that sort of thing, and I found that's really useful because yeah. it's uh, it, again it's gone from where we're just a supplier yeah. um, waiting for a, a, a big payday at some stage when we built it to being the one who's funding it all yeah. so uh, of course that cost hasn't disappeared when we get customers saying oh yeah I don't I don't I only want to spend 50 pound a month on a project well yeah. it's still a 20,000 pound piece of software exactly. <laughs> it's all, yeah. still got to be built built and paid for and I've yeah. got to pay my staff yeah. um, so the, the R&D credits are a great idea and they, yeah. they can help out I know there's quite a few businesses on the island who've We've seen some returns from yeah. that, and it's helped uh, out. Mm. Yeah. And, and you've you've booked like, how's that gone for you? Have you? Have uh, well, you again, I, I I know it's gone well, right. and I leave that to my wife. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. we we've been doing it for yeah. about five years, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I would recommend to any mm. kind of software or technology company that's that's building something that's not a paid activity, because yeah. mm. you can't claim for that. Absolutely, someone else mm. is paying for it. Um, but if you're actually inventing something mm. and creating something, then absolutely you should go down that, that mm. route. And, and also the referral on from if we're building it for someone else yeah. is to encourage them to, because it's, it's making people aware if they're spending £20,000 on yeah. some software, so you realise you could, you could be getting this back. You, know, yeah. you, you can at least put in a claim and, and give it a try. Yeah. I mean, there's a, there are companies out there that can guide you through all this. And, uh, absolutely, yeah. there's, there's, there's some very good ones. Mm. Um, and it is quite, you know, the rules change every year. They oh, yeah tighten the screws down a little bit more you know it's, it's a good a, sign of like all businesses you, it's good to speak to an expert um, yeah. and as you mentioned earlier the software changes and it does if you have a system built 10 years ago like Steve Porter's transporter for example yeah. if we just left that it would be really old and clunky and not yeah. do much whereas we keep an eye on it and keep upgrading it uh, and and that's the same with all sides of business you, I, you speak to the experts and I think with cloud computing as, as where we are today you know, and it has changed even just in the last sort of five years, we're, we're very much now, we're connected to everything. Mm. We're 24 seven, people can contact us or you can contact them pretty much at any point. You can tweet them, you can, you know, you've got Twitter um, support channels coming into businesses mm. and we're gonna do that with our next big release of, of Maximize. You know, it, it's fascinating how, how business has changed and how technology has changed to adapt new business models. Mm. But how we all, still now crave more human interaction you know with people because 
we're consuming more and more technology. Yes, that's very, that's very true. I mean, a lot of the work we do, we're, we're um, Zero certified developers. Yeah. So we do a lot of integration work with Zero bookkeeping software. Uh, and more and more people use that um, and, and similar software to it uh, because it's easier, more efficient, flexible, mm -hmm. and all the rest of it always on. Uh, and then, of course, they want to phone someone up and ask for help and, and speak to someone about how do you do this. Yeah. And it's, 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 you're still dealing with people. That kind of people aspect has, has definitely been enforced. You know, mm -hmm. A lot of research I've been doing recently, it's, it, you know, it's very much about providing something that, that people can use and, and mm. that, that helps businesses grow and I'm, I'm kind of all for that. Mm. Um, <clears throat> let's move on to the, the next question uh, because we can chat for hours. <laughs> we could. Yeah, we'll, we'll be, and we do. And we do, <laughs> yes. We'll be, li we'll be live till next Wednesday. <laughs> um, yeah, you've given us a kind of quick overview of the group and the company um, and how did you actually select the name? Uh, of Rosetta Group and the, the open source and the, I mean, yeah. I assume that the open source comes from open source. It did. I mean, when we when we set the first company up, open source, we were looking for a name, and I was trawling around, and I, I knew we were going to go limited and a domain name and things like that, uh, and and we were working in open source software yeah. with an S O U R C E. Yeah. Um, and I came up with the idea just one day when I was thinking it sounds like Source. So right. I, I just Googled the domain name which was available, the limited company was, and thought, went with it. Uh, and done. it was simple yeah. as that. And, uh, and I, I got in touch with a chap on the island who did uh, artwork and logos, and I said, look, this is what I'm trying to do. And he came back with the logo we've got, which uh, is a, a, a computer PC with the with Source pouring on it. Right. And, and, that, and I thought, yep, that's exactly us. That's and and for years, that's worked wonders. And right. exhibitions and things like that, people come running over, yeah. and they have two views, either they've no idea what it is and they want to know yeah. or they get the joke completely and they yeah. come over for a chat yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that works but, really well. but the Rosetta group uh, when we set that up we needed a group and we knew that and our house name ha was Rosetta right. uh, and, and so straight away I thought well that's handy yeah. and again did oh, some well. googling and yeah. it was all available so <laughs> exp explain to me a bit about the, the group structure because um, this is something that kind of is the group a limited company mm. And then you've got sub departments. Is that how you account for it? Yeah, we've we've got the limited company of the Rosetta Group Limited, right. so um, which is the owning company. Right. So was open so is open source still limited? And open company? source systems is a limited company and as the well. Shares are owned by Rosetta owned by the Rosetta Group. Group. Yeah. And then we have a number of other parts of the organisation. Some of which are standalone limited companies, and some of them are just brands of the Rosetta Group. Right. Um, so for right. example, Rosetta Telecom is just a brand of the Rosetta Group, right. and when you right. get your bill, it will be from the Rosetta Group. Right. Um, and then it, it, the structure of it, the, the number of people said, oh, it's a tax fiddle. And I thought, well, I wish. Yes. <laughs> the reality is you end up paying twice. But, uh, but the, it is, it's yeah, actually yeah, yeah. a lot easier to manage and control yeah. that, that we're, we're the shareholders of one company and it has a group of companies. Yeah. Mm. And 100% uh, owned underneath. Underneath yeah, yeah. that, yeah. yeah mm. I, 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 that's exactly what we're looking at at the moment. Right. Because we're, my CRM is, is, has been has a range of things under it. It's got our software under it, it's got the cloud yeah. services under it, it's got our services, our development services. But that's always been a brand. Mm. And Maximize is very different. It's it's not a, a Microsoft Dynamics thing, it's it's a connected data thing. Yeah. So we've we've kind of stepped outside the big circle and gone, you know, it's, it's quite cold out here. <laughs> um, so but that belongs to another you know, it, it's, it's another department yeah. within. Mm. So we, we may not split out the different limited companies. What mm. we might do is just have the one at the top and yeah. say, well, actually, this owns all of these platforms um, and it's a platform by, you know, the, the, the my group as, as would be. Yeah. Okay. So, mm. um, 2007 setup, that's great. Um, business 12 years now. Yeah. Mm. Um, what's... What is your kind of key objective today? What, where do you want to get to? What's the, the, the sort of, things change, you know, 12 years is a, is a long time <laughs> in business. A lot of businesses don't survive their first three years. Mm. Statistically, I'm not, you know, um, some businesses last forever and then collapse. We, again, we mentioned <laughs> British Steel. Yeah. Mm. Um, some go on for decades and, and, and you know, red funnel, limited company, 1800 or something. Yeah. Like, I can't remember the exact dates, but the right now, if you were looking at your objectives, you were laying out your objectives and say, right, this is what we've achieved so far. I want to get to that. What's the what's the big objective? Well, when when I was younger, if I'd done all this, 
uh, it would have been to make as much money as I can, sell it and retire. And right. As I've got older, <laughs> settled on the island, married, right. very happy, we've, we've got a completely different focus on life and it's much more about having a, a decent life. And so we're, we, we've taken the old work-life balance phrase. Um, right. we, we make big use of that. I mean, all our staff work flexi time if they yeah. want, come and go as they please if it suits their family life. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're much more flexible about where people work and things like that. Uh, and we try and do it ourselves. So, mm-hmm. so if we decide we're going to go away for the weekend in the caravan, we yeah. take two or three days off and just go and do it. And because it's, it, yeah. it's, it's much more important than just going out and earning as much as we possibly can. Yeah. But, but that translates into the company in that we're still driven and want to expand the business and make it better all sure. the time. Um, but we're not out to absolutely get every sale at every every opportunity, yeah. and it makes for a much nicer working environment because we're not so I, desperate to get yeah, every. I, I think culture is is really important, mm. and I think you know, the, again, I've, I've been reading recently about about how the sales process has changed. You know, and we you only have to go back 10, 15 years, and even when I'm started, you know, we had this big sales team at the company I worked for. And they were just literally out, bang, bang, oh, yeah. bang. Yeah, yep, we could do that, we could do all of that. There's six of those. Not, not only that, mm-hmm. there's all of this. Lots of promises made, you know, lots of project failure. Um, yeah, get the commission, go, boom, boom, boom. Lots of stress. The sales, <laughs> the sales um, team churn was huge mm-hmm. because, you know, deals were done and lost and won and closed and people moved on. Um, but it would seem now, from a perspective of any small businesses buying, they've got access to the information before they engage in a sale. The salesperson used to be the, the, the key holder. Yeah. They, they had all of the information and they would sell to you. As now it would seem that you know, any type of business is very much the buyer. They've got control, you know, they've got the cards, and they're coming to you and saying, right, you can do all of these things and I understand all of these things and what, what are my benefits? And it's how you present that to them. Yeah. So I think as a, as a business structure, you know, as, as a country, as, as the whole you know, European Union and, and whatever, the way we do business is definitely changing. Yeah. And it's a much more friendly, people-based, you know, can we actually meet the objective, not you know, focused all on, on pro- hard profit and you know, mm. the hard sell. Um, I'm, I'm no fan of the hard sell. No, I never have been. Absolutely. I mean, that's, that's interesting because we've, I mean, this year, we've been going all, all these years, we've not advertised. We did a, a short run of ads in the county press years ago, um, just to get on their website and yeah. things. But we've never bothered advertising or doing it. We just do everything is social media. It's LinkedIn, yeah. talking to people like you, um, and that's that's how we do it. But this year, for the first time, we decided to, to make a bit of a push, and we've uh, taken on a part-time uh, marketing guy, right. marketing and sales, <clears throat> and. Um, the idea was to try and expand our image and get people to know yeah. what we do because it doesn't it does help that we, we're in the technology sector and most people I can go to uh, networking after networking meeting and tell people what we do mm. and they still say I never really knew what you did yeah. <laughs> and yeah. so so we came up it came up with these lovely brochure right. and the idea was to make it in simple English you know pretty pictures yeah. what, what the group does yeah. the different parts of it yeah. and to send someone out actually going and talking to people who isn't yeah. a technical expert yeah. <laughs> and, and, I think that's and, really and it makes a big difference I, 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 yeah I think it's it's not a salesperson mm. or a marketing person. It's it's a a customer engagement. Mm. Person. It's it's Very a sort much. of you know mm. these are all of the things that we can offer. Mm. But how does that help your business? What you know? What is it? What was your pain point? Let me let me kind of work <laughs> let me with help. You. Yeah, and and that's the way forward. I mean, I'm I'm not a salesman. Mm. Uh, I I'm a technical guy, and I, I think I we're all salesmen. That. To be honest, <laughs> <laughs> right. yes, I, I've heard there's, that said before. There's 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 because you you know from a. Uh, yeah, and you do this very well. I, you know, I've noticed on LinkedIn you're, you know, you're, you're kind of CEO or managing director, or whatever your job title is. But you engage. Mm. You're visible, and you know, I've I've only just really started doing this, based on kind of research, and I've now got my own Twitter feed, my own personal Twitter feed, which is I've not seen it. I've, yeah, I've, I've, got, I've got twelve followers now. Oh. I'm popular. Yeah. I'm the popular kids. Um, but no, that's kind of really. Well, Working for me really well because mm. I guess you because you, you start to engage with people and so it's like, and that's how it that's uh, how it works yeah, yeah. I mean when it, when I get if I go and see someone who's interested in what we do let's say a phone system we'll get a call saying uh, I've heard about your phone system and it, we'd like you to come and explain mm. what it can do and I love that because then yeah. I'll go around there like we are now I'll chat over the table mm. what's your problem we can solve it with this how if that helps you speak right. to me that's yeah, that's yeah. that's my sales yeah. um, and. and 
but but getting that first stage to the phone call saying we're interested yeah. that's the bit that we don't do yeah. uh, and so hopefully taking on David to do some marketing for us um, yeah. will will get us to that stage more yeah, yeah, um, yeah. and, and build, uh, our, uh, build our business that uh, way uh, social, but social marketing and awareness is, is, is critical now mm. um, but uh, one of the books I've just been reading recently is and people do this um, there's a lot of this online and, and we were very guilty of it um, you know because we, we saw it as a you know social as a platform um, and people kind of watching they may they may kind of comment on this but you kind of used to just shout out mm-hmm. we've got a thing buy a thing my thing's right it's great you, know, you should buy this thing and you know and people even now they connect with me on LinkedIn and go hi Alistair thanks for connecting I've got a thing would you yeah. like to buy my thing <laughs> it's going to get every day <laughs> and I was just like no actually if you can't uh, you know talk to me and the problem is I've been I've now been educated in the in the kind of way to to kind of uh, approach and, and, and content so it's just like yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm unsubscribing from everything <laughs> I, I had one last night that uh, it was a connection request on LinkedIn yeah all right I'm, I'm open to anyone yeah. in there and within seconds I got a great lecture about how he could transform my phone systems with VoIP yeah and I thought well you haven't even read my LinkedIn profile yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, people... I don't want your thing I've got that thing yeah. <laughs> Yes, yeah. How many BT lines have you got? Yeah. Um, right, okay, so we've covered off kind of objective, you know, mm. the general uh, approach to the business and its name and all of those kind of things. Um, and some of the services I know we've just highlighted, but can we just kind of, for anyone that's kind of listening, well, I've got a few people online. Um, anyone that's listening, what are, the, what are the key services? You know, there's the phones. Yep. There's yeah. And what does that Ro- mean? There's Rosetta Telecom, which yeah. is the phone side of things, provides business phones for, for companies. Um, we've got our own cloud phone system, which we built from scratch that does right. everything that our customers want it to do. Yeah. Um, we've got open source systems to software development project work we do a lot of project work for um, creative agencies because mm-hmm. of course as websites have developed to become software systems on their own yeah. we do the the back end the complicated bits to right. help them out um, we have an audio side as i say that does uh, more there's more me personally things like djing voiceovers do a lot of voiceovers for corporate work right. um, <clears throat> and phone systems funnily enough right. there's an awful lot of the press one and press two is me talking on it now right. especially on the island um, uh, those those are the uh, the key main areas. We've also got several other bits. We do cloud hosting, um, various technical sides. Yeah. So, for example, software, uh, cloud file hosting, file right. storage, backup systems, yeah, yeah. all this sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so, yeah. And one of the <coughs> key things there is about security. And, and, and yeah, because yeah, I know you, know, you talk to some businesses and they go. Oh, it's in the free Dropbox. Mm. All my employee contracts, yes. really. Yeah. <laughs> I have had this discussion with so many people. In fact, seeing your GDPR book here reminded me, but yeah. GDPR for us has been a great boon because we can almost drop it into conversations if they haven't already. And, and as I say, when they're, 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 they're using you know, Dropbox and, and just chucking it up there and they're, they're quite happy with that. Or they, they say, oh, I've got, I've got an online backup for it. Yeah, but where is that? Yeah. And where's the data? And is it secure? And yeah. all this sort all of thing. And, and more importantly is, is that they've got a backup because an awful lot of people we speak to when they the first contact we have is our computer's broken could you help us and we're going to have a look at it and say no it's absolutely shot uh, right well we're going to get a new one that's easy get it tomorrow but the data of course <laughs> well haven't you got backups oh. ah <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and it's quite scary even nowadays that the number of businesses running without yeah, backups well, I, th- I think files. what fun with, with small businesses and I know before we came on we were talking about um the types of businesses just in the UK there's like 5.2 million businesses but only 49,000 of mm. those are enterprise type uh, you know big biz what we call big business they employ more than 250 people um, and the rest are you know mid small businesses the, the majority about 2 million is, is, is mm. about small businesses that employ 5 to 10 people um, and one of the, the, the things there is a lot of people set up a business to a, give themselves a job because they're like, well, actually, I want to do this, and this is my job, and this is what I'm skilled mm-hmm. to do. But they're skilled to do it, but they're not skilled not in the business, IT, no. business mm-hmm. accounting, mm-hmm. finance, you know, and all of the kind of things. And they just run it. Mm-hmm. So go, oh, check it in Excel, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, and not know any different. Um, yeah. You know. So it's quite incredible. Mm. Let's 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 kind of move on to mm. customers and things because you got you were you were sort of saying you've got about a hundred customers that you yeah. service and you work with, and that's that's a really good number. Um, how do you, what are your key differentiators that, that sort of say, hey, you know, 
we approach our customer service or we you know the way we approach our customers what, what's the what's the kind of key thing there a key thing for us is, is again as we mentioned earlier with social media and things like that's about the personal contact because almost it, well everything that we offer you could probably get somewhere else yeah. uh, and you might even get it cheaper heaven yeah. forbid um, but certainly the majority of our customers that have been with us quite a while they're still with us because they get the personal contact sure. um, we do a fair bit of business on the island we do a lot of business on the mainland at the right. other island and we do business around the world yeah. <clears throat> right New Zealand America places like that um, but the customers that we have tend to stick with us um, I was speaking to a, uh, a garage that we've got some software in there our garage management software in yeah. there running their garage has done for years and we also do their phones yeah. um, and they're on, over on the mainland and they said oh we get phone calls almost every day with people trying to flog us garage systems and phone systems and he, they said no nope, we're not interested with yeah. staying with these guys yeah. because they know if they get a problem they can ring up and, yeah, yeah. and, and talk to someone that. and say help can you sort this yeah give us a minute and, and, and we'll key, get on with it that is the key thing I mean as we get these big players you know your Amazon clouds and your Google clouds and your Microsoft clouds and yeah, even you know, and some of them, you know, they get a problem. You then getting that support, or raise a ticket, will get back to you within forty eight hours. Yeah, I think I think people are very nice. There are still nice people out there who think that if you pay money for software or an online service, it won't ever break. Yeah. Uh, nothing will ever go wrong. Well, that, yeah. that's rubbish. They, even the biggest ones, you know, Facebook goes offline. They, they, yeah, all yeah. these things happen. Uh, yeah. uh, and but the the big test is when it's gone wrong. Can you get told of someone? Can you get it sorted? Yeah. And and that's where we're miles above anyone else. Is that we will work all night and get things fixed if it needed to be done yeah. all night. But normally yeah. it's within ten minutes yeah, yeah. because as soon as we're aware of a problem, we've got uh, yeah a bunch of clever guys yeah. who will just sit there and will dive in like you have. You've got yeah. people who know what they're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, far more than I. I do and I just say help I need help with this and they'll just get on with it yeah and get the job done and I think that's mm. the key thing it's about going yeah we can fix that we know what that is yeah. but it's about um, it, was, it was really funny I was, I, was, I was talking to someone this morning and they're like oh I've been struggling for days <laughs> oh I didn't understand that. I said well why didn't you pick the phone up well I didn't want to bother you <laughs> <laughs> So, well, we've just resolved the whole thing within about 10 minutes. Yeah, no, that was really good. Yeah, <laughs> and if it told me days ago, it would have been 10 minutes then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. But yeah. it's the same with, with so many businesses I meet that, that uh, on the island. And, and uh, White Fiber is a good example. People say, oh, yeah, why, why would you go with White Fiber? It's only a little company on the island. I said, yeah, but if you have any problems or there's any breakdowns, or anything, you can yeah. just phone them up or go and hammer on the door if you know it's only in cows, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they'll sort it just I mean, like that. This is the thing. We've, we've, yeah. we've been a White Fiber customer ever since we set mm. up. We've always had, uh, this has been brought to you by White Fiber. Oh. Fiber. Um, Reliable broadcasting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, you know, and it's fantastic you can ring up. You know, and I know the name of the people that yeah. I have to talk to. So, hey, mm. got a problem. Yeah, and get it fixed. Yeah, no, I, I, and they I, will. I just love that. Yeah, especially coming from a CRM background. Mm -hmm. I've done twenty-one years of implementing CRM systems, and you know, when you're in the kind of customer relationship management, customer engagement type model, you, it kind of rubs off a little bit. Mm -hmm. that you, you sort of you want really good customer service from yeah. all of your suppliers, <laughs> and the minute we don't get one, they, you know, they get told. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so. We'll, we'll, we'll just move on. Um, we no, we haven't got any questions online, so um, quite we, handy. We usually take a, <laughs> we, yeah, we usually take a break at this uh, at this point to answer any questions. But um, as a business, you know, now think of the whole group. Um, what sort of technologies have you implemented to run your own business? Oh, well, that's a wonderful one. I, I can give you two lists. One is a list of the ones we've done, and the one is the my list ever never ending of the things I really want to do. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, so let's start with this: what you've done. And what that, what uh, we've that done. That includes social media as well. Yeah. So think well, of I mean, the whole we, running of. Yeah. We, we, we use uh, our primary systems are things like Xero. Yeah. We've used Xero bookkeeping for years, almost since we started. We started off very small and uh, had a, a, a very well-known local accountant, old Poppy's mum, uh, <laughs> looking after our books. Right. Um, but we moved on to Xero and that's our, our key system and it's been very good for us because we earn a lot of money from it because yeah. we're Xero developers. Yeah. Um, we have our own CRM system which we built it's, mm -hmm. it's fairly basic when I look at things like uh, what you guys do yeah. um, but it works for us and that keeps control of all our customers and integrates with Xero so we can do all our invoicing on it and regular invoicing and yeah. so on 
Um, we do a lot, a lot with LinkedIn, um, so that's very popular, and a little with Twitter now. I've, I've stretched into Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> and with, with the LinkedIn, just to jump kind of mm. because obviously Microsoft owns that now. Mm. Um, do you do you pay the subscription for LinkedIn? Are you are, I don't. No, I'm not. Yeah, a, not subscribed. I've often looked at that, yeah. and I've never quite seen the, yet the benefit for it. Yeah, but I, it's I, it's, I it's, know, a, I it's an interesting one. Yeah, but I, but interesting also in that people have said to me the same sort of question in that it's owned by Microsoft. Does that mean you're going to stop using it because it's not open source? Mm. And I said, well, it, actually, that's not as you mentioned earlier. It's not just black and white anymore. It's not no. that, not divided because we're at, we for years have provided our own, we've got our own email server mm. and we've done our email services to customers. Yeah. And basically, what we've done over the last few years, we start migrating them all to uh, Office three six five because yeah. it's a brilliant product. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it does what it's meant to do and it's reliable. And so it's I, cheap. yeah, it's cheap as well, yeah. easy to set up and resell. So I, I'm not going to sit there and say I'm not using it because it's yeah. not open source. Yeah. It's a good product. Yeah. And Microsoft have joined the Open, open Source Federation, the Linux Federation now. So that's, that's great. Yeah, absolutely. I think what's nice is you know, LinkedIn has moved on mm. a little bit and the way the groups work and the posts work and mm. the coming out. And I believe even LinkedIn Live is coming next year. Oh, so we'll yes. be able to broadcast on LinkedIn as well. That'll give you something to do. We'll be yeah. streaming on multiple channels. Yeah. <laughs> well, you probably still won't be able to stream on multiple channels at the same time. Everybody's going, no, no, it's fine. You're going to stream. Um, so, yeah, so that's the other kind of key system we've got in place. Mm. We're using typical things like Office and we, we don't know. We use uh, we, we use LibreOffice, the the free right. version, um, <clears throat> because all our all our software, all our computers run on Linux, right. so we don't have any Windows in our office. And right. we use LibreOffice and various um, free software programs. We do again we uh, an interesting crossover. We use um, VS Code for our, our coding, which is now Microsoft, yeah. <laughs> and 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 a good bit of software again. Yeah. But it works on Linux. It's it's yeah. uh, it's all Linux based. Um, so that. That, that all works really well and, and whenever we build a new system, for example our phone system, Rosetta Telecom, that fully integrates into Xero and into our CRM, so all our billing is automated, we don't actually do anything with that. Right. And whenever we build a system, I mentioned briefly we've got a garage management system, we've just rolled out our club management system for um, things like Gernard Pines mm. uh, to run all their membership on and again that all integrates straight into Xero um, so we, we try and avoid giving my wife too much admin to do because yeah, yeah. i got plenty no, of no, other things for her it's, 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 <laughs> it's kind of really it's, it's sort of really interesting and you'll be glad to hear that we've rolled out our first two Linux servers <sighs> Well done. I know, right? Well, if you have any Linux problems, you know who to ring because yeah, we're yeah, experts yeah. at that. And, and not only that, they're in Azure. Oh. Right? And we're running, we're running our blog, our blog software, which is Ghost. Oh, so yes. We've joined, Excellent. We've joined the real. Well done. <laughs> um, You'll okay. never stop asleep now. We've ventured out the circle. So. Um, what do you want to do? What I'd like to do. I'd really like, uh, being a control freak, being in IT, I want a decent CRM, which I'm slowly designing and building, which will do everything and run the whole group. Right. So it will cope with the open source software development and do project management and, yeah. and the managing of hours. It will do the phone system integrating through there. It will manage all our other projects and billing and right. everything and integrate with Xero so that the whole thing runs See our business. And, and yeah. that, that's what I'd like. I was told you were about to say, I'm about to take a subscription to my CRM because that's really what I want to do. But it's, it's so close. I, I, I missed that opportunity, but it, it yeah. could be the one we want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. doesn't run on many. <laughs> um, but if you build a web browser. Um, yes, so your social media channels, you were saying LinkedIn is your primary. Mm. You've ventured into Twitter, so as I have. Um, Facebook. No, no, yeah. never touched Facebook. Never, yeah. uh, never been wow. interested. Okay, that's really interesting. Yeah, Do you want to expand on that? yeah, because we're we're big fans of Facebook. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> it's it's mostly a, a personal thing. I don't like the whole. I I don't like social media as it's portrayed. Right. Interestingly, uh, yet I like LinkedIn. And yeah. I'm getting to like Twitter right. because somehow in my head I separate that from social media. Social media, I see that as the the whinging, moaning, backstabbing, right. all that sort of thing, which it shouldn't be and doesn't need to be. Right. I love the principle of social media and Facebook. I think it's right. great having somewhere that people can easily go on, post stories, yeah. Uh, yeah. talk about, comment, uh, arrange parties yeah. and, and all this sort of thing. I just don't like Facebook itself, right. the company. And if people could self-police better and yeah. not 
watch everything start from lovely and drift into a flaming war each yeah, time yeah. I think it would be better I think it's uh, for mental the people, health oh it's, the it's the people mm. yeah uh, we're giving the, the, the technology is great mm. yeah. and, and I, I think I've it's brilliant mm. I'm not using the platform because well, yeah, but that's the people yeah, yeah you've uh, you're, you're absolutely right you've unleashed yeah. you know, the ability to people to vent yeah. in a way that nobody can see them and you know the technology allows you to do it that. does there's no filter on people no. and that's that's the trouble if they if you put them into a room and said discuss this yeah they might have you some raised voices but that would be it whereas you, you put you it online it. it's yeah, horrible yeah. <laughs> that's what i like facebook is because obviously it has business pages it mm. has groups and you can use it in the same way you can there's a whole extra reach there of, of, of people and I would have thought you'd have had a, a Rosetta Group Facebook page well our, t- our developer team we've got a team in New Zealand who do web web, web work for us mm. and the project I'm working on now which I can't talk about no, no, but we will fine, yeah. um, is is they're trying to encourage us to for that yeah. one particularly yeah. to, to do a Facebook side on it yeah. and their, 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 their task is to persuade me yeah. no, I, I, <laughs> and I shall leave them to it yeah, I, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think it's. I think it's great. I think it's a great set of technology. Mm. But yes, people will vent, and you know, it's, mm. it's it's what it is. But I think having um, a pages and groups and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's I, I a think great. It's great. Awareness, yeah. awareness I mean, we use uh, we, we one technology we do use a lot of is Slack. Yeah. Uh, we use that for everything and, and yeah. if you're not using Slack I mean it, as a communication tool in groups it's fantastic mm-hmm. uh, and that's a sort of in some ways a private Twitter or something yeah. like that yeah. And, yeah. and it's great but because it's private uh, the, the conversation's mm-hmm. professional because well uh, if, uh, if they misbehave I'll sack them mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> it, no, it's, it's kept professional yeah, and it's a really good platform yeah. I think it's when you just open it up again it's the people it's not yeah, the, yeah. Not the yeah. technology no, I think mm-hmm. well, we're, 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 we use Slack I know we should you know, we use Teams as well mm. um, because obviously that comes with our Office 365, mm. um, but we tend to separate the two out. There's, there's what we Slack is daily noise. It's yeah. just our like, can you, can we just, where's the cakes? Mm. You know, <laughs> Milk's empty. Yeah, no, <laughs> all and and question Q and A and all of that kind of yeah. stuff we do. But with with the Teams element, we we tend to do documentation and sort of say, yeah. this is the project. Here's the here's a you know this is the overview, and then we go to Jira, um, and, yeah. and do all of our task lists and and, and mm. manage that through. So yeah, we we idea. used Jira for quite a while, um, yeah. and it was it was just that the I think we were having problems with it, it was just getting slow to, to operate, and it right. was getting painful to right. get things done. Um, and then we discovered Slack, and, right. and we also do um, an alternative to Slack, an open source one, Rocket Chat, right. which we've rolled out to a couple of customers where they wanted a, a Slack alternative, a, a discussion thing, yeah. but they wanted it private. Yeah. So this is t- self-hosted oh, each one, okay. so they can have basically with an app the same as a Slack does, yeah. and, and a mobile app, and all the rest of it, yeah. but itself hosted so that there's no data problems it's theirs okay. <laughs> yeah. that's, no, that's interesting mm. I mean no I really like Slack um, mm. like kind of big fan of that and it's you know it, to see where it's come from because it's, it's basically messenger mm. you know it's, it's you know where we used to invite multiple people into messenger and then obviously you know I took got rid of messenger and and now Slack is like, well hey you've know, <laughs> got, got lots of people and you need to get an account and you can all talk mm. to that, and it's brilliant uh, very um, clever very yeah. productive and useful when you run out of milk yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, so uh, we've talked about CRM, uh, and um, you know that's where that's where we work. You know, we're, CRM and our geo platform is the is the kind of next big thing for us. Mm. We're uh, looking at other platforms as well that, that that may bring kind of new interesting things, but those I can't talk about yet. Um, you have a CRM system you're building yourself or you, you, that you want to build yourself, so I'm not going to be able to sell you one of those. Oh, you never know. Um, but uh, I'll definitely get you on maps. <laughs> <laughs> we, we shall continue to be a, an evangelist and a fan of my CRM, yeah, yeah. whether we're using it ourselves or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a place for all of these things, and it's great. I think, mm-hmm. the, I think the, the, the mm-hmm. kind of world of technology and the way things have moved on, and the, this is really why I, a, a bit about doing the show as well, is mm-hmm. to, to just share everybody's opinion about how they view technology how they use it how it makes their, their world better yeah uh, I, I think it's fascinating well, we, we, even the size of company we are we couldn't manage without our own internal systems like slack zero for accounts um, yeah. and the crm I, it's kind of made my, my wife would have left ages ago said i'm not doing it yeah. <laughs> because she'd be snowed under with invoices and, and this all this sort of stuff and this is, this is, you know, again i've been i've been you know, reading about sales and you know, if, you, if you kind of go even back to my parents you know my, my, my dad was a traveling salesman mm. he worked in the, the before he went into security where he was in cotton clothing workwear branded, yeah. printed, you know, 
shirts, overalls, you know, big NHS contracts, and, and he would be on the road four days a week. Yeah. You know, driving. To, oh, I've got a meeting in here. I've got to drive to that meeting. Yeah. No mobile. Yeah, no mobile. <laughs> yeah, he was, he, I remember he had one of the very first car phones, which oh, yeah. had a box like this yes. in the boot. <laughs> it was huge, and then there was like cables and yeah. handsets, and you know, in the times when you could pick up the phone and drive. Yeah. Like. And for goodness' sake, don't use it because it costs a fortune. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A pound a minute. Yeah. Something. Yeah, it's, it's phenomenal. Mm. <coughs> but that was. But even before that, he was always out doing, you know, going to a meeting here, going to a meeting there, mm-hmm. and, and sending letters. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's like, oh, can we arrange an appointment? Yes, let me send you a letter. Yes. I, it just seems... And wait for a reply. Yeah. <laughs> Four days, if you like it, you know, yeah. it's, like, it's in the post. Yeah, what do I do? <laughs> but technology moves on so fast. I mean, yeah. uh, um, one of our guys, Ashley, in the office, if, if, if a customer will email him occasionally, yeah. and and then they'll phone me and say, oh, "I've not heard from Ashley," and, I, and I'll say, "Have you looked at your email?" Oh yeah, I'll log on to that and have a look <laughs> because yeah. because the technology has changed. We're not using email much now. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm sorry, don't contact me by that. I might I might look at it once a week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 again, mm. and I remember, you know, and I've said this in other broadcasts. You know, I remember when email was new. Mm. You know, I, mean, I, yeah. I, I started in sort of 97, 98, you know, professionally after university. And the, the first company I kind of contracted for, they were rolling out email with about three addresses. You know, we had internal email, but we couldn't send anything outside yes. the organization because it might be deemed incorrect. You know, don't communicate with people. <laughs> um, but, you know, I, I just think now, you know, you, you sort of, you, you, you're driving to every meeting, you, you're sending letters, you, mm. you, no, it's just instant, it's yeah, gone. It's, it's all just done, just like that. Everybody, you can mm-hmm. connect to like, you know, I think there's more mobile phones than there are people on the planet um, mm. registered. You know. Well, when I think that we've done big project work for customers outside the UK that I've never met and probably never will, mm. <laughs> and we're just communicating by uh, Slack channels and yeah. things like that and building software. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so do you share your Slack channels? With them? Sometimes we do for some customers, yeah, no, yeah right, if they're right, a bit right, advanced, right. it's quite handy. Yeah. Mm. So, you talked about you've got some development in New Zealand, you're not going to tell me what that project is. Um, not yet, not this time. Not this time. <laughs> um, is that the next big thing for your company? Is that, yeah. the, is that the kind of... Boom, you know, this is going to be. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not, not geo mapping. It's it, not. No, no, don't don't panic there. <laughs> I, I I like to think it is, but as I said earlier, where we're not trying to take over the world, it's more of a um, a rumble than a boom. Right, right. Uh, and we we like little rumbles in the in the yeah. in our day to day life, and this yeah. is the next thing that gets me excited and gets okay. me coming to work. And so will you come in and tell us about that? Yes, yes, yeah. I will. Yeah. That'd be great. Um, um, so what is that? Is that a twelve month thing? And it's it? it's it's probably in the next three months, four months, right. and and it and it's not technology focused. It's, right. it's but it uses technology yeah. to help it. So yeah. it, that's how it's it's an interesting one. Yeah, and I think <laughs> I think that the the, the the that again is we're adapting technology to achieve mm. things. No longer it's oh, I've made a technology thing for the sake of making a technology yes. thing <laughs> that you can use as a piece of technology. Yeah. it's like and the whole if you look at the whole internet of things mm. and, and where we're going, you know. I mean, it's quite funny actually because my daughter, my my daughter, my daughter has just bought an Alexa. Um, oh, yes. and I don't know if you've got one of these at home. No, no. Um, and I thought I was like, I don't want Alexa. They're really annoying. I just, uh, it's not me. I don't. I, you know, <laughs> but she's got it, and it's in the room. And now I can't stop talking to her. <laughs> uh, so I have various conversations with Alexa you know, when no one else will speak to me. Uh, and uh, and and it's really funny from her generation. I mean, she she's fourteen now. Um, and she sees that as uh, artificial intelligence. Yes. Yeah, she says, that is a device that is artificial It's intelligence. actually thinking. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to them. And it was, you know, they call, you know, from her, her you know, cohort, it's got, they see that as an AI, mm. you know, an AI device. Oh, yeah. That's quite interesting. Yeah. You know, as we look at it and go, it's a microphone just, speaker. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's voice search. You know? Yeah. <laughs> It's, it, it is interesting how that, that it's marketing marketing does this now yeah. and that they believe that, that this is the thing it's, yeah, it, you know, it's yeah. like every time I see an advert for something I find myself shouting at the telly that's not what that's doing at all yeah. <laughs> yeah. but on the subject of Alexa interestingly yeah. I've got a Mycroft and Mycroft is an open source Alexa yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. well, I, was, I, I, I had this vision um, a few months ago that, that kind of Google and Amazon got together and created this, you know, so you had all the power of Google and Amazon together. Yes. You know, and it would Collaboration, order, wonderful. Order, order you cars, you know, <laughs> you, you get in the car and go, hi, I'm Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Take me to such a body, Alex. <laughs> I know where your work is because I've seen your browser history. Yeah. Would you like me to take it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, not here. <laughs> um, right, so okay, that's, that's good. So that's the, that's the key thing you're working on that's new. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, well, our open source side is doing a, a lot of development for, uh, as I say, we do a lot for creative companies yeah. and they're just building a project at the moment. Unfortunately, a lot of what we do is n- n- non-disclosure yeah, yeah. agreements, but they're doing a really nice project, which is almost finished, which is uh, uh, to do with uh, a really complex searching and mm-hmm. data processing uh, system for a company. Nice. Um, so it's, it's, it's nice getting involved yeah. in those because I can still contribute because as I say, the guys uh, are employ are much cleverer than I am. Um, but it's nice when occasionally they can ask for my input and, mm. and the back end databasing processes, things like that. It's, yeah. uh, it's nice when I can contribute. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> I, I, t- I totally, I totally feel, feel for that because you know, I stopped developing. I stopped developing in about two thousand eight. Mm. Uh, I haven't cut code since, um, and these guys are far smarter than I. Am, yeah. You know, um, yeah, just pass it on and say, "This is what I'm after." You yeah. do it. <laughs> can, I, yeah. can I have a thing? No. Yeah. <laughs> But we've already sold it. Yeah. <laughs> what is the, are you looking to expand? The, what does the next 12 months look like? We did expand. We, we, got, we had some staff. We took on an apprentice. We had an apprentice for a year as well. Yeah. Um, and it was a bit painful in that we got to a sort of size where I wasn't involved in technology. I was much more just managing yeah, people. people. And, <clears throat> and I've done that before, um, particularly when I worked at Steve Porter's and managed a lot of people there. And, and it was it, it changed the dynamic of the company. I was finding right. I was having to work and, and do lots of hours and, and yeah. manage things. And so I tried to get away from that. So we, when, when the contracts ended on things, yeah. I had to let them go yeah. and the uh, Apprentice finished his contract yeah. there, and we've now stuck at the size we're on. I'm quite happy staying so at that what size. Are you about seven, maybe? We've got five people here, two in two right. in New Zealand, and it's right. and it's it, it's a nice yeah. nice balance, it's, so that we don't have to worry about yeah, it. And this is the this is the challenge I've I've had because we kind of went from the five six, mm-hmm. and now it's twelve. Right. Yeah. And you mm-hmm. sort of like, okay, so I've got more. You know, we're not just doing development. You know, Paul, she probably joined us. She's, mm-hmm. she's kind of extremely valuable to to what we do and all of the marketing mm. and, and those kind of things Mike's joined us you've met Mike yeah um, you know he's kind of pr- predominantly sales and, and yeah. uh, looking at that so we're creating the extra and I've got to manage all of that yes you know, and I've still got to engage with people and I've still got to do the project work and I've still got to write the project plans and I've still got to talk to these guys and I've still got to sit in meetings and going yeah I think the website looks like that I've drawn yeah. the box <laughs> just, go and do that yeah there's a, there's a big red box behind you that, yeah. that was my artwork um, mm. I think I think already uh, when you say we're, we're going forward, I think it will be more the marketing sales, which I've got yeah. uh, David working with us now, yeah. and uh, we'll do a bit on. The, we've got someone on the main now. We're looking at to do some over there yeah. because we've got more as the business has changed from boom buster projects yeah. and much more residual income. Yeah. Things like the phone systems. My aim now is to push more and more that we get more and more phone system customers sure. that are on there yeah. regularly, monthly, and, yeah. and that's where I'd like to build so, the business. So would you look at a distributor to kind of resell the... the, the we, we, we looked a bit at reselling. It's, it's, it's sort of a mix of model, actually. It's more a sort of commission-based type yeah. sales we're doing on it, yeah. but, but really we're keeping it personal still yeah. um, because we don't want 10,000 some phone customers yeah. that we would just build them and put up with what yeah. we got um, but we do want to grow it and that's why we do just businesses we're not interested in chasing individual houses yeah, and things yeah, like that um, phones, but yeah. it, it's, it's uh, we do we do a lot of complex phone systems as well we've got customers that want really complex phone business systems and we'll build them custom for them as well sure. and we want more of those sort of things yeah. no no it's, it's really good I mean you know we've looked at building a, a reseller channel and that's mm. really hard Oh yeah, because um, mm-hmm. you find tech companies that are in the same space don't want to sell your stuff. Mm-hmm. You find tech companies that are outside of your space don't understand it. Yeah. Um, so we're going, especially with the new platform, we're going with a distributor model that has their own resellers. Yeah, so mm-hmm. there it is. Yeah, you yeah, sell it. You sell it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, know, you can have a, a region or a territory. Off you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're still going to do our own thing as well. Mm-hmm. So I think that yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll try that. I've, I've not yet found anybody that's done it though. So. <laughs> All right, so um, I've got a question here, and this is predominantly for Isle of Wight uh, businesses because obviously where we live, um, technology has changed and we used to, as business owners, cluster around an area that was predominantly had a population, mm-hmm. had a bigger population, lots of businesses, you know, the, here's my target audience, I'm working in this, this is my territory, small software companies, so Thames Valley, my customers are in Thames Valley. Mm. 
you know, what we've seen with the change of technology, and we've highlighted it a few times, oh, I've got customers here, and I'm talking to someone in New Zealand, and I've got customers in America, and we're all going kind of global, yeah. mm-hmm. um, which, is, which is absolutely amazing. I mean, we sell, we've sell we sold products in 23 countries, you know, from the Isle of Wight. Yeah. Um, do you see any challenges? How, have you experienced any challenge of being here, setting up here, as a technology company, because one of the things I'm doing is, is working with the council on their digital strategy as well, yeah. you know, on the kind of digital steering group. And I'm trying to g- get across that the island is a fantastic place to be a technology company. Oh, yes. You know, because we've got great infrastructure, we've got great, you know, broadband or fiber, or, mm-hmm. you know, and that's obviously why fiber have been making a massive investment in oh, Northern Coast, yeah. su- super, super fast. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, 5G is coming at mm-hmm. some point, you know, if they can decide not to give it to a, a, a vendor that's going to steal all that data. Um, so what have you seen any challenges? You know, how about office space and those kind of things? Because I know you're over at Gernard Pine. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we were, we were, we were at White Fiber yeah. uh, in their office, but when they got this this yeah. huge deal, they uh, hoofed us out. Um, we're now down at Gernard Pines in nice offices down there. Yeah. Um, I mean, our, our biggest challenge have been physical challenges. Not, right. uh, things like if I'm going over to see a customer on the mainland I've got to catch a boat and go over there yeah. I love it I like going on the boat yeah. there's no problem and I love coming back so uh, that side of things I think it's a brilliant I agree with you it's a brilliant place to run a technology mm-hmm. company because we can operate from anywhere um, I've been on cruises with Sue yeah. and uh, and I've always made sure I've got an internet connection and I'll just flick in and have a look and I can answer any questions yeah. and, and no one needs to know I'm in the middle of the, the, the uh, yeah. Bay of Biscay or something yeah. well, that sounds um, very so expensive <laughs> <laughs> not the cruise just the connection, <laughs> yeah. connection yeah it's on. slow believe yeah. me it's not it's not a white fiber connection yeah, yeah, but it, yeah. it's certainly it, being over here is brilliant for this type of business because yeah. when we moved for example we moved on we left white fiber on the Friday afternoon and took everything down and Gernon Pines and on Monday morning carried on working yeah. <laughs> and there, there's no problem from cows in our old offices to here and we bought we, we, we didn't take stuff with us mm. you know, we got a big skip we emptied that office, <laughs> and the, you know, we, when we came in here, we had like one desk each and a beanbag, and that was probably about it. And then the furniture was being delivered like two days in after we got the lease, and right. they came and they just kitted the office out. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, within a week, um, servers were racked, yeah. networking was in, tables were in, desks were in, meeting room was set, you know, lots yeah. of couple of boxes. Yeah. But yeah, oh yeah, I think I think there is some great office space on the island. I know the council are looking to have a digital hub as well, Dan Cows, mm. um, which is on the BAE site, I, mm. think, I believe. Um, and that's going to not only help small businesses consume, not like an innovation centre, because there's an innovation centre yeah. next mm. door, you can go and get office space, mm. but more of um, a kind of a resource hub as well, yes. where, where people can get involved and business owners can get involved to teach the next generation yeah. and, and be involved in these seminars. And I think there's a, there's a huge market for that, and it's it's something that I've thought about recently. Is is when I hear that people are starting new businesses and they've rushed off, and the first thing they've done is said, "Oh, I'm starting a new business. I'll I'll get onto BT and have a phone line installed." Yeah. And this, as soon as they say that, like, oh, you've just tied yourself to a year, two years, whatever it is, yeah. and, and you didn't need that. If it had just yeah. spoken to me, I could have helped you there. Yeah, yeah. And 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 being being totally open about it, not necessarily yeah. reselling what I've got, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. just letting them know what's is, available. This is some uh, of the education thing, isn't it? Because I, 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 on this channel, I want to do some kind of very short videos, mm. or just things to think about when you said things. You know, after 21 yeah. years, I've only ever been employed for about two and a half years out of my 21. <laughs> and, uh, and I only did that when I was 30, so I thought, oh, I should get a career. Um, <laughs> I then realized two, two and a half years in that it probably wasn't the right thing to do. <laughs> Um, I, I'm, I'm not well done I'm not a good, I'm not a good employee yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah I, you know, I just want to be able to share some of that stuff as well and mm. sort of say hey you know, don't sign up for a phone line don't yeah. sign up for expensive web applications yeah. you know, don't live off Dropbox yeah, yeah, <laughs> do, do buy my book on GDPR yeah, don't run your business <clears throat> on uh, this is my name 38.97 at hotmail.com. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that one mm-hmm. as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So no real challenges, just, just no. literally. No, I, so we've you, been very lucky. I mean, office so, space we've fallen into each time. Yeah. So are you are you a fan of the idea of building a tunnel or a bridge to the Isle of Wight? No, not at all. I, it's I think, an island. I think it's an island and I love living on an island. I yeah. think we take the dogs down for a walk on the seafront and cows eat every day yeah. or so. And I look at it and think, I'm lucky I'm living on an island. This, yeah. is, this is my dream come true. Yeah. Have you? 
if you put a bridge in, it's South Hampshire. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, okay. And all my servers will get nicked. <laughs> I, 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 I just, you know, my own, I, you know, the, the, there's the element of progress that sort of says, well, it'd be great to have a tunnel, mm -hmm. a rail tunnel, um, mm -hmm. that sort of, you, that you didn't go. You well, we've got the tunnel trains. <laughs> no, I, I, don't, I mean, just, just get a, a train across that sort of drop you off at Southampton mm -hmm. train station or near the airport. Yeah, you know, that'd be great. You could just get on and just convenience-wise, I think it'd yeah. be lovely. Yeah, um, I don't. I like the idea of being able to drive across. Mm. You know, I just, I think yeah, a, a rail tunnel would be really good. Um, it just opens up that kind of people who want to come. Mm. You know, they just literally can c get on a train, come down right down the country into Southampton, and come across the island. It would open up that kind of whole touristy bit a little bit more. I don't think bringing loads of cars on because our roads just aren't. I mean, yeah. you know, we've got this fantastic PFI project for the roads, mm -hmm. and they're all being redone. They're all super smooth, and you know, I have no potholes, and it's fantastic. I'm going to buy a very fast sports car when they're finished, <laughs> um, with no roof. Yeah, you know, and a baseball cap. Yeah, um, give it a few years. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah exactly. exactly you know, I won't. I won't be able to afford it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but they're not wide enough. They're not set up. I, I, uh, the layout of the island isn't ready for no. 100, 250 mm -hmm. new cars just to be piled on. The traffic would be, a, would be it's bad enough yeah. now, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. You look at somewhere like Hailing Island yeah. and, and they suffer every summer when that, that little yeah. bridge they've got yeah. is packed solid with everyone going to Hailing Island. Yeah. And, yeah, and yes, they that. get the tourists. And so but I'm kind of, I'm kind of yeah. in the middle. You know, I'd, no. yeah, I'd love the idea of having a, a train link. Um, you know, that just dropped me straight at you know, either Southampton Airport or, yeah. or, or you know, Southampton Central or just you know, <laughs> swap there. Get a steam train, now that would be cool. Now that's the way to do it. Yeah, yeah. something Thomas. quirky. Yeah. Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, the whole uh, Isle, Isle, Island of Sodor was mm -hmm. based on the island. I don't know. Yeah, when he was writing his stories, he came to the island. Right. Like, I don't think there's any legitimate you know sort of claim to that mm. but you know if you actually read the stories and there's like cranky the crane which is the big crane at cows you've got all of the kind of coal trucks and yeah like, hang on <laughs> this, this is all like, sounding familiar this is all this is all a bit like the other one um so yeah so i'm, I'm, I'm not gonna i'm I, you know uh, you know that's that's my opinion only is, is this your next book yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. um Right, so outside of the book, because you were talking yes. about life, balance, and caravan, mm. and all of those oh, kind of things. Yes. What's your leisure time all that? What do you like to do? Well, the odd bit of leisure time I have, uh, we've got three dogs, golden yeah. retrievers, and we like to walk them. Um, right. So we spend a lot of time walking them down on the beach. They swim a lot. Yeah. So we do an awful lot of that. Washing dogs. Uh, washing dogs, <laughs> yes. <laughs> a little bit of caravanning. We yeah. bought ourselves a caravan, which I thought I'd never do, but of course yeah. I'm getting older now, so yeah. it's an in thing. Yeah. Yeah. And, it, and it's actually travelling, towing a caravan on the island is actually faster than the other cars, so that's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we like cruises. We've yeah. been on a few cruises. So we, we like to keep ourselves busy. I belong to a church in Cal, so we do a lot of work with the church. Yeah. Um, Bit of everything really it's nice just to actually enjoy the island that we live on yeah uh, and we aim to do that more, as much as we can yeah, i don't i don't get enough of this. i know we do a lot of networking and we, mm. we see each other at various events and you know, some of the stuff that is beginning to happen with linkedin local and those, mm. i think it's really it's really, oh, it's really excellent. interesting mm. you know, that mm. we're all kind of getting together and you know, we've got a backlist of people who want to come on the show and, and talk yeah. about what they do which is I didn't actually expect that there'd be so many people lined up to sort of yeah, say. It's hey, really good. It's oh, a great opportunity oh, to I'll, talk about it. I'll, I'll come and uh, I'll come and be on. I'm never shy of having a chat with someone. <laughs> <laughs> so talking about events, um, um, I, I'm not aware of all of the networking events. Mm. I mean, you're much more. You're in the chamber. Yeah. Is, and I keep seeing you pop up at these various events. Yeah. Is there anything happening in the next week or so that you want to shout out to? Well, I belong to Vectis Business Link over in Ride. Right, okay. um, that meets at Ride Castle, and that's uh, next one is on Tuesday. So I'm right. sure we're going to that one. That's always a, a good one. Yeah. Quite nice because it's two weekly, so I can right. cope with getting over there for that one. Yeah. How many people um, come to that one? Uh, t between twenty-five and thirty, I think, yeah. uh, members okay. there. So it's quite a, a productive little yeah. one. And is that is that one where it's. Um only represents one type of business. Yeah, it's, it's limited to one area like a lot of those are, yeah, yeah. but it's, it's, it's quite good. Uh, this is where it helps being part of a group. I can just adjust which one I'm representing yeah. depending on who's there. Who's there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's a, a nice breakfast at Ride yeah. Castle. It's a lovely place yeah, to go. Yeah, it's, 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 it's fine. I mean, I'd, I'd like to come 
Yeah, I'm thinking of kind of coming to some of the, the networking events like those, you know, mm-hmm. different business groups, just to represent this. Oh, yeah. You know, just to show, because no one's doing this. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. so it's hey, different, isn't it? I can come to the you mall. can do what you like then. <laughs> and if they ask about my CRM and maximize yeah. at the same time. Yeah. But I also belong to, uh, funnily enough, Cows Business Association, right. which is a, a, another busy organization. Right. Um, we do networking every month. We've got one coming up, I think it's next week or sometime. Um, and they, there are all sorts of, uh, we go to all sorts of different venues right. and, and network, and that's, of course, open to anyone who belongs and, yeah. and visitors as well cool. so working in cows come on over yeah yeah no, no that'd, be, that'd be really good I, I don't get out enough to be mm. honest but we're oh, just, it's great we've just got so much on at the moment mm. it's this, this kind of busy for the sake of being busy but you know. It's it's vital to keep it up. I know over the years, networking is the one thing I've kept going right yeah. through, and and you often hear stories of people saying I couldn't do networking because I was too busy. But then of course the work starts tailing off, <laughs> and then you've got plenty of time to network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's that's the thing. And it? it gets you out as well. I think one of the things that a lot of people forget especially small businesses if you're working on your own is it's quite lonely uh, and it getting out be. to networking gets yeah. you the chance to talk to other yeah. businessmen and have yeah. a chat and, and learn new stuff yeah, yeah. no I've been really excited you know, I came to both of the LinkedIn local mm. the first network oh, they're excellent. I've, done, I've mm-hmm. done for a little while um, and I kind of went to one at Tanky so oh yes yeah Island Business there. Network it's yeah, a good one probably mm. one had a great breakfast mm. um you know, we're going to be jo- rejoining the chamber. Are you a member of the chamber? Yeah, I've been yeah, to forever. Spain? Yes, it's very good. Yeah. Uh, we, do, we go to as much as we can with that. Yeah. Uh, find it excellent. Uh, we'll be Same at the Expo one. this year again and yeah. uh, see what's no. going on there. No. So, what are you representing at the Expo? Uh, well, we won't be uh, exhibiting, I don't oh, think, right. this year. We're going to just, but we'll always turn up and yeah. do the breakfast and, yeah. and go around the, si- the stands. There's just so many. So many amazing businesses on the island, it's yeah, quite incredible. It, it just opens yeah, your eyes to it. And, and this is one of the ones I, you know, I was talking about the digital strategy. Oh, sorry. <coughs> I'm still trying to shake a cold. I mean, I think anyone that was watching last week, I was kind of sat here distracted because I had this kind of running pain down my neck. Oof. And it's, it's, you know, when you commit to kind of coming in at 2.30 on a Wednesday, you can't just be ill. You know? it's, it's, like, it's just not allowed. Yeah, it's um, not show business. No, it's not show business. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, I, I, I'm kind of definitely looking to, to kind of do more networking mm-hmm. and, and meet more people because it's just really kind of interesting. And you know, as a business, we're moving away from just the core Microsoft CRM mm-hmm. because you know, cost and all of those kind of mm-hmm. things. And people want something quick, easy, yeah, get it done, mm-hmm. all of that sort of stuff. So it, it is it is interesting. Um, I'm going to rejoin the the chamber as I was, I was mm-hmm. just saying. Um, but uh, one of the things I kind of wanted to do with the digital strategy was get the council to survey all of the tech businesses on the island because there, there are lots. Oh yeah. You know, they might be only small, mm-hmm. but to, to kind of survey them and say, what does your business look like now? Are you going to need additional resource? Mm-hmm. You know, can we draw? You know, let's say the let's say that I don't know what, what's the working population on the Isle of Wight? It's probably about thirty three thousand. Yeah, thousands. not a lot. Mm-hmm. You know, that's the out of mm-hmm. the hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. So let's say three thousand. Let's say ten percent is is working in technology. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how do we double that? Yeah. How do we make the Isle of Wight a technology hub? How do we get it to nine thousand jobs? Mm-hmm. So some of the bigger companies come over and go. There's a pool of resource here. We can train them up. We can do things. How do we get schools involved? Yes. Yeah. You know, one of the things that we struggle with sometimes is finding the next person. Or we we end up taking it from someone. Yeah. And then that impacts yeah. our business. Yeah. We're just rotating people around, and and, and I found this before. I've, I've mentioned this to other people, saying the schools don't whether it's their fault or not they, they don't produce the people that we need to do the job mm. and we've had uh, we've had the old work experience guys in from Cows College and mm. the Cows High and they'll send someone who's a, an IT expert and they get there and say what's your experience of IT well I play a lot of games yeah. so, they, so you don't know anything about IT then really yeah. do you? no. you're an IT user not yeah. an IT yeah, expert yeah. Yeah. and it's trying to get them away from this if you know how to do a, a spreadsheet in Excel that you're an IT expert and yeah, yeah. Know, if you could write Excel yeah. <laughs> so I want to yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll fight over those. Yeah, 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 exactly. I mean, we're really lucky. The guys we've got are just—they love technology, and they'll they go away and come back the next morning. And say, oh, I've just seen something new. You've got to see this. <laughs> That's what you need. Okay, we're uh, how are we doing for time? Probably well out of time, are we? Yeah, we're, yeah. Well, if, you're, over, if you're still listening, watching, <laughs> say thank you. If you're still with us. <laughs> uh, right, so the quick fire end. Um, we're going going to go into that. We've got a number of. Yeah, very quick. Oh, it's a mastermind, isn't it? Yeah, quick, here we go. Quick, quick, quick. But before we do, is there anything you want to share, tell us about? Is there anything 
you think we haven't mentioned that you want to raise? Oh my goodness, yeah, straight off the top of my head, I don't think so. I think we're, we're, we've covered so much in this short hour and a bit uh, <laughs> that, that I think we're all there. I, I just, I'd like to encourage anyone who wants to work in technology and to work here on the Isle of Wight yeah, yeah. And, and to get into it and learn more. Yeah, yeah. and come come to some of the networking to see what's oh, happening. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, digital disrupt when, when it happened, mm. it was, what, 180 people? Oh yeah. Oh, and well, most yeah. of those were from the island. Yeah, they're amazing. coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Okay, quick fire round. Right. What is your favourite film and why? Oh, that's got to be The Net, Sandra Bullock. I love that film. The Net. Uh, the okay. Net, because yeah. it's, uh, it was one of the first films I saw that really started looking and using the internet and, yeah. and for, for the plot, for the whole plot, and it was yeah. great. Loved it. Yeah. So I thought, I thought it was Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> that was the bad side. <laughs> or, or the reality. Isn't that where we're going? Yeah, it was the reality. <laughs> yeah. uh, do you have a favourite sport? Um, I like motor racing. Mm-hmm. Um, so your Formula One? I'd, I'd like a bit of Formula One. Yeah. I don't follow it very closely anymore due to yeah. time, but I, I like it. And yeah. I'm quite interested to see this E Formula E coming yeah. in to see what that's yeah. like. See, I, what I like about that is that you know, from the Formula One, that you look back at the early Formula One days, the things that we've got in our cars now, like um, um, ABS, Ken's braking, um, the the recharging of batteries on mm-hmm. braking. It all came from Formula it One. All, came all of that there. technology yeah. came out of research at Formula One. Mm-hmm. And if we can have an e formula that, that where they're doing loads and loads of research into electric cars, that'd be absolutely amazing. It's I mean, be brilliant. Know, yeah. You know, but electric cars that are kind of I mean, there's still an you know, um, an environmental impact by having big batteries. We know yeah. this. But yeah, there's got to be a destroying way a diesel and getting rid of a diesel <laughs> after burning lots of your yeah. diesel fuel isn't the same impact <laughs> as, 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 as running it. And you mentioned earlier about hobbies. I mean, one of my hobbies is uh, I've got an HGV1 license. Oh, right. So on odd occasions I go truck driving. Right. And I went. That seems a strange hobby. It, it's a very odd hobby. <laughs> it's great fun. Big toys. Yeah. And I went up to um, Daventry the other day, the other night as a, an emergency run up there. And the truck I jumped into was a great big thing and it had uh, cruise control like they often have yeah. adaptive cruise control so it adjusts the distance with cars right. lane alarms and yeah. everything this, this thing had more technology than most of the cars I've driven in my yeah, life yeah. and no, it's fascinating yeah. seeing how they've changed yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I was surprised when I bought my, my latest car it pretty much drives itself yeah you know it tells me what's behind it in front of it mm-hmm. you know it connects to the internet and it, it it's monitors it's itself. Mm. It, it doesn't let you run into anything, but it'll stop itself before you have an accident. Yeah, and you're just like, oh, you drive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And all this invented by clever techie guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, all, <laughs> it's, all, it's all tech, isn't it? Internet <laughs> thing. I never thought a car would be an internet thing. <laughs> um, can you recommend? Uh, oh, by the way, I'm a Formula One fan. As well. oh. I've been watching the. I've, I've been watching it on catch up actually on. Uh, on just the highlights because uh, yeah. I'm not paying £10 a month for, <laughs> to sit for two hours watching a, a, a race. No, fair enough. <clears throat> um, can you recommend a good business book? A good business book? Do well, you, you uh, of no. course there's the GDPR book. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you read business books? You, I, 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 it? It, some. I like... I like the um, autobiographies of yeah. them. I like reading right. those. Yeah. I like reading about how, how other people have run in business yeah. and built them up. Um, I've read a lot of those, yeah. and that always fascinates me. I recommend to other people, not specifically business, but the the dummies books. Right. You know those yellow dummies yeah. books? Yeah. If you want to learn a subject, read the dummies. For, yeah. Because if nothing else, you get a basic understanding yeah. very yeah. simply and quickly how it works. So it's good. Have you ever read um, Ray Kroc, Grinding It Out? No. Right. That's the story of McDonald's, how he set up McDonald's oh. from, from he he was a um, he, he he was a salesman and he sold milkshake machines mm-hmm. to you know what I'm going to call um, diners you know, in America so we're in the we're in the kind yeah. of 90s where malt diner you know the yeah. malt shakes and stuff mm-hmm. was the thing and that's what he sold and he came across the opportunity of McDonald's because the queue of traffic was just you know, 200 cars waiting for this thing to open. There's one restaurant owned by the McDonald's with it, and it's a fascinating read. Oh, I'll look, I would, I'll look I would, that up. I Thank you for that. seriously mm. recommend it. Just mm. if you want to read about yeah. how someone took to and the challenges he had and the illnesses and the, all of the making McDonald's uh, um, a franchise, regardless if you kind of like the food or whatever, yeah. just it's the story is, yeah. is phenomenal. Yeah, things uh, like Richard Branson, Alan Sugar, all yeah. those ones. I love yeah. those stories. They're great. Mm. If you're going to start over again, mm. it's now 2007. We've gone back in time. We've used Flybe Time Machine. Um, the what would you do differently? 
Well, I think the one thing I would do differently out of all of it wouldn't involve going back to 2007. I left school in 85 and I would have set my business up then. Right. Because if, if, if there's nothing else I could say to people, it's just get on and do it yeah. then. Right. If I'd have set it up in 85, I might have retired rich by now, but I've enjoyed a lot more all those yeah. years, intervening years. Yeah. Because you enjoyed being in the place. That's I enjoyed the, it, yeah. I mean, that's, that's, As you mentioned earlier, in one of the questions, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm not, not an employee, not a yeah. regular employee. I, I'm pretty unemployable, yeah. I think, now, because I've been doing my own thing for so yeah. long and just getting things done. Yeah. And, and I, if I'd have done that back in 85, oh, what a different world. Yeah, yeah well. <laughs> Well, you know, we can all we, we, we can all mm. do that. Uh, Although, of course, a lot of the software we work with haven't been invented back then. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's what, I, I, I bought my first PC in '92, mm. and it was a three eight six forty with four megabytes of RAM. Oh, right? big, big, a big one! And a forty megabyte hard drive, and it ran everything: Windows, yeah. Office, the whole one. Mm. Windows even had patience three. then. Yeah, yeah, Windows. <laughs> three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, you could switch on and go make a cup of tea. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's progress. Um, okay. That's, you'd have started it earlier. That's great. Yeah. Um, looking at what we're doing here now with the with the channel and trying to expand it up into businesses and, and all those kind of things, do you think it's beneficial? Um, do you think YouTube is a, a great platform? Or do you think... You know, sharing and, and, and doing podcasts and, and, and those kind of things is, is, is a good way to go. I do. As we talked earlier about social media and Facebook, mm -hmm. I've always been of the opinion that it's all rubbish. Um, but I'm old. I'm not the target it's aimed at. I mean, I have to keep reminding myself I'm 52 now, and right. it's not my. I'm not the target audience. Right. But as we've moved on, I've realised the benefit of things like YouTube, being able to show people how things work. And yeah. I, there's some huge statistic about people learn much more by watching videos. Like, people like learn to play the piano and things now yeah. by watching YouTube. Yeah. Uh, and so that's the way forward. We're about to start doing a load of how-to videos for our yeah. phone system, just with yeah. YouTube videos rather. Yeah. Than writing it down, which is what yeah. I would do, and um, that was that was very much it, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. All the space here, all the things. Yeah. And well, actually... well, every time you bought software, it came one of those big boxes, didn't it? And it was a collection of floppy disks or a CD, and a huge book saying how to do it. And you wade through the book, yeah. that word. You know, yeah. they, they had a, a whole yes. bookcase for yeah. Office, didn't they? Yeah. And now it's just inst just use it and find out for yourself. I remember, <laughs> when, I remember when CDs first came in, and the floppy disk was was kind of removed, and you'd still get this box of software, mm. and it had other disk. <laughs> And about ten books. Yeah. I always used to think, why can't we just you put, put the books on the disc? Things? Wouldn't that be a good idea? Yeah. <laughs> just mm. Who invented PDF? Yeah. <laughs> um, right. Okay. That's that, that, that's cool. Um, name one thing that you might name one thing that you might think. Let's start again. <laughs> name one thing that might help local business, the local business community. What do you think? You know, we've got <coughs> Chamber, we've got FSB, we've got. Um, good networking with LinkedIn Local, you know, everybody's beginning to communicate more, digital strategies coming, mm, you know, maybe we'll get a digital hub. What, what do you think? What's the kind of, it'd be great if? I would like to see, preferably right near where I live to make it easier, I'd like to see a much easier office space facility for mm. small business and startups. Right. So <clears throat> yeah, we've got the Innovation Centre, which yeah. is lovely. Um, my, my dream is a big office block on the up near the Esplanade or something like yeah. that Gows, with loads of small rooms that you can rent by the week by the yeah. hour <laughs> by uh, by coming in and saying can I have this yes please pay yeah, yeah. Uh, no leases licensing laws yeah. monthly contracts all this yeah. other stuff just so that people can come along and they want to start they've got an idea want to start a business right go in there sit down do it and not tied in that you have to use this phone or you must yeah. stay six months or you have yeah. to use our furniture just totally flexible yeah, walk, and it, walk, it, yeah. it, uh, business wise it's horrendous because it'd be a nightmare to manage uh, but uh, See, otherwise yeah. I'd have done it but yeah. it's a uh, it's, it, you know, I it's, think, it's I think needed. One, of, one of the things um, I'd, I'd go further than that, mm. and I'd like to see that. But um, not only uh, a room go in here, his desk and a chair, and you know, bring bring your PC, mm. you know, connect up, whatever. Um, but I would like to see that free for for startups. Come yeah, in. That's a novel yeah. idea. Yeah. Um, come in. Come and do. Come and just. It's, Somewhere to work. The building mm. is not going to. It's still there. You know. So. If you're gonna kind of make some money, and then after six months, if it's not, you know, working, then you've got to make a decision. Um, I'd like to see mentors. Yes. Hovering around that that building. Yeah. So as they have you got a question, you know, yeah. you've got twenty years in technology. Yeah. 
can you, you, see, you, you put in some some larger offices so people like us can mm. rent office space. I mean, if, if I'd have had somewhere like that near us, we'd have rented there. Yeah. Uh, and then you're available for a knock on the door from someone who's starting yeah. out and says, ah, what do you think I should do for email? Yeah. Oh, right, you could do this. Yeah, yeah. And that's all it takes. Uh, I, yeah, I think no, mentors yeah. is a great word, and that's yeah. something that people yeah. should make use of. But, but, but it's got to be so flexible again. So many of these things can be available, like mm. mentoring, but it's all so formal, and you've got to ap- apply and do yeah. all these interviews. And things. Actually, you just want somebody to knock on the door and say, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, it, it, it's like bringing the kind of, like we do on LinkedIn and we, we mm. comment. And it's like bringing LinkedIn, not LinkedIn local, it's, it's, it's LinkedIn <laughs> it's real. work. Yeah. LinkedIn real, yeah. <laughs> yeah but that's, you're absolutely right, yeah. yeah, I do. yeah. Is, that, is, that, is that available? Is it available? <laughs> um, one, one of the... Uh, 300, wow, one of the 300 uh, watchers is, is probably <laughs> registering it now. Yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. And can you recommend anyone who else would like to be on the show? I'm not sure if you had him because I didn't ask, but uh, Trevor Cook from Go Internet. Hmm. All right, okay. Now, he no. is uh, another real good techie and he's mm. he's he knows everything networking and, and yeah. getting people connected yeah. which we all need yeah, yeah. I mean, we're, we're running a technology business LinkedIn, yes i will I do that I don't yeah, think connected, so. super chat and he's, he's we, we've got we have some of our servers in his data yeah. center and uh, you know he's very clever okay right so into the final final question oh. um and we have run a little bit oh, only a little yeah the matter. um how can people get hold of you oh no a hundred ways the Rosetta Dot Group is our website, um, or you can look me up on LinkedIn, where I'm prolific. Yeah. <laughs> Just put Mike Cox in there, uh, and even on Twitter, Mike Cox Cows. Because yeah. and do you do it the old way, like by by email and, and phone? Do uh, email, email. Oh yes, yes. Mike at Rosetta Dot Group. <laughs> nice and easy. And we've got a wonderful phone number: oh three, double o four, double o four, double o four. It's great when you uh, set up the phone systems, you can choose your own number. number. Uh, it's actually great that you cell phone systems and you've got a phone number. I like that. Yeah. Phone spoils everything. Okay, so we've come to the end. We have overrun. Um, thanks to Mike. Uh, Thank you very much for having me here. Uh, mm-hmm. c- coming in and, and talking about the road. That's great. Absolutely uh, a great session. Um, obviously, this will be live on Facebook and we'll... Uh, Facebook and on YouTube and probably everywhere else. <laughs> um, we'd obviously encourage you to get all of your team to like the channel. Oh and, yes. And subscribe to us. Um, we'll be back next week, Poppy. Uh, yes, next week we have uh, Katie from Sunshine Recruitment. Oh, Katie. now there's so there is a cheery person. If oh, you want yes, positivity. She is. <laughs> yes, she is. She is sunshine. Yeah. yeah. Oh yes. So we should be talking to Katie next week. So that's worth tuning in for. Um, and that really brings it to a close now so I hope to see you next time on Business and Technology Show and thanks Mike thank you very much both of you thank you